the H2 capable of reducing nickel 2, so nickel 2 positive, to something lower. Ni. So some nickel. So we're going to look, and this is hydrogen, so yeah. here's 0 volts. Now, do we want to go to Ni or Ni plus 1? That's Does a good question. Yeah. Let's look them both up and see what happens. So nickel, 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 <laughs> I think it's <laughs> negative, <sighs> actually, is my recollection from my memory. So we're looking, we're looking, look, 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 look. You may find it first before mm, us. Not on that page. Not on page one. Let's go to page two. Oh, there's one. Mr. Plus Sims. two down to the elemental. Negative oh, point two five. Oh, we have a negative. So negative means negative. Uh, negative. So at least to go down to uh, ni nickel zero and the two electrons. This was negative point two five. You add that to zero and you get uh, <laughs> negative point two five. And that not is this spontaneous. One. Not spontaneous. We're doing this. Not, not hydrogen. Gonna happen. Yeah, oh, we here we do go. This one. Yeah. So it's Fe two positive. Capable of reducing VO to one positive. Yes. So now, if this is reducing this, you're right. If VO is two going down, gets reduced, then Fe has to get oxidized. So it has to go up. And the only thing I can go up to is plus three. You never heard of anything other but plus three that's mm -hmm. higher than plus two for, for iron. So let's do the iron number it's first. down on the low, the jumbled, messy list right there. Positive 0.77, but we're going to flip it, so it's going to be negative 0.77. So this is negative 0.77. So now we're going to find the VO2 and see if we can get a number that's more positive than positive 77. So he should be a positive number. Mm, VO2. So I see VO up there. Vanadium. Of all the ones I picked. I know it's yeah. in another table that you may have in your book, and that's where it would probably be. And of course, I don't see vanadium. Vanadium, vanadium, vanadium. Hmm. Try the next page up. VO. Oh, not wrong one. That's VO plus two, not VO2. I wonder if I typed it wrong. It's VO2 positive. positive. What do you think? Perhaps. I let's say you've typed it wrong. Let's we'll pretend that we typed it wrong, and it was VO2 positive. VO2 positive, that might be my mistake. Yeah. And if that voltage, if we look, was 0 0.34. 0 0.34. So 0 0.3, it is positive, right? It is, but if but we add those together, we still have a negative number. So our negative number is like negative 0.43? Did I do that right? 43, yep. That's a negative number. So yep, that means, not going to happen. Uh, no. Not going to happen. Negatory. At least the VO2 positive. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's not how we're going to work. And I think we've probably belabored that. I think so. All right, last example here. Rank the following from strongest oxidizing agent to weakest oxidizing agent. Now, what right. is that oxidizing agent? Oxidizing mean? agent is the one who does the oxidizing and itself gets reduced. So if it gets reduced, if we look on the reduction potential table, if it has a nice big positive sign, it's going to be a good oxidizing agent. So what we need to do is we need to use the table again. Mm -hmm. So CE4 positive can go down to something. Yep. So we, it seems we need to write a bunch of reactions. Uh -huh. CE3 positive goes to something smaller. Mm -hmm. Then we can have FE2 positive. I can say that's going to go to FE. There's no charge. FE3 positive can go down to FE2 positive. I'm writing all the reactions. MG2 positive can go down to MG. Mm -hmm. Mg can't go down. Can't go down. Ni two positive can go to Ni, and ten can't, can't go, go down. down. So we're going to just look these numbers up on the table. So this yep. may take a little bit. So Ce four positive down to something else. You know, can we do Control F and do Ce? Probably. Did not find any. <laughs> no, there it is, right there. Two plus to three plus one point four four. Four to three. Oh, we have four to three? Tell you we what, have four why, to three? Why don't we just go grab a book and we'll look them up there. It'll be faster than thumb through here. Let's pause. All right, so we found from your table, actually from your book, folks. If you go from four to three, what's the voltage? 1.70. And it is positive. Positive. Yep. All right, now the CE3 positive really cannot I'm actually go looking up. for that. No, I, I don't think it can go down. So this one is really not look capable like of going down. So actually, he's going to be negative 1.70 volts. We're going to read the way he is because that is CE3 positive to CE4 positive, yep. right? Yeah, I don't see anything else for CE in here. All right, how about iron 2 to iron 0? Iron Sam's is looking 2. Over. That's over here. Yeah, oh wait. No, well, actually, you found zero. the iron 3 okay. to iron. iron 2 down to 0 is negative 0.44. Okay, how about 3 to 2? 3 to 2. Iron 3, three to, to iron zero. 2. 
There it is. Se second, first column. There it is, right there. There it is. is. Yep. Point seven seven. Is it three to two or two to three? That is three to two. Point seven seven. So positive. Point yep. seventy seven. Okay. Yep. How about magnesium? Magnesium. Yep. Uh, two plus down to elemental is negative two point seven three. Negative two point seven three. And actually, this one will be positive two point seven three. Nickel two to nickel. 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 Two to nothing is negative point two three. Negative 0.23, not mm -hmm. 2.3, and then 10. 10 plus 2 down to elemental is point one, negative 0 0.14. So this will be positive 0 0.14. Positive 0 0.14 if we're going elemental to something else. Okay. So we want the things that reduce. Now let's think about this. Do we want to go from the lowest number to the highest number, the highest number to the lowest number? The way it's Highest written. number to lowest number. I think we're the highest number. Yeah. Who's the highest value I got? Looks Magnesium, like. 2.73. So let me change colors and we'll rank them. How about okay. that? So this will be number 1. Number two looks like it's the cerium one. All right, more positive ones. 0.77 looks like he's in round three. Uh, I see another positive one, so that would be the 10, would be in fourth place. Yep. And the next place would be the nickel, fifth, right? Yep. The sixth and seventh. There you go. So you just rank them. Oh, yep. and then eighth for this one. So that's how you do it. You're just going to look it up on the table. You're going to find, folks, that that table is your friend. Oh, You've yeah. got to have that table, and you're not going to memorize it. No, You'll always be given that's it. given to you on the AP test. Yeah, so you just have to know this table. And this is the table of all of the reactions. Yep. Okay. Any questions, please feel free to ask. That is actually the end of the podcast. Yay. So we're going to say ta-ta for now. Toodaloo. Adios, amigos.